after this break. Welcome back to Valley Parade. Competition result in just a moment. Bradford City and West Brom have drawn two all here at Valley Parade. Let's find out now how Grimsby Town got on this afternoon against Bristol City. We join the action in the first half. Grimsby in their usual black and white stripes. Commentary from Roger Malone and Mark Lawrence. So Grimsby uh, began this match in eighth place uh, with this reputation for good football. Their best position this season has been sixth, and so they've had a lean spell, but they still see themselves as in with a chance of reaching those playoffs if they can get a good result here. And uh, they nearly had a bit of a chance there, but quite good play there by the City defence, particularly Scott. Reese. Oh, well, uh, Gary Shelton's had the number six over there, Tony Ford. And that's uh, the first booking of the afternoon. Yeah, it's the worst possible place to commit a foul. Here we go. He's got no real chance of getting the ball. Rog, look, just takes his legs completely. And Mr Cooper's only two yards away and uh, not a very happy start to Sunday for Gary Shelton. Well, how about that by the goalkeeper? Terrific. The new rule, of course, you can't catch a pass back with the foot, and didn't Welsh get out of that one neatly? How about this, Mark? Well, that actually showed great presence of mind, Welsh, because, you know, when it comes that high at a goalkeeper, the first thing you want to do is pick it up. But uh, he showed some uh, more ability than we saw on Wednesday from some of the outfield players, didn't he? <laughs> yes. Right. Scott to Tinian. Lovely ball for Rossini out. In came Fruta, but he's given it in back. Well, a chance, and a chance again there. And Grimsby fortunate to survive, but they haven't yet. Morgan, Bent will get that. And now Monroe's got it. Well, that was a great opportunity there for Bristol City on two or three occasions in that build-up. A good move, Rossini did so well. But they were unable to get a punitive shot in. Away come Grimsby, Gilbert. And offside there, just... Mendonca showing how to slot it in, but just offside. End-to-end -end stuff. Yeah, started with Tinian. Great ball from Tinian, wasn't it? Picked him out. Good first touch by Leroy. Blocked by Futcher, gets half a chance again. Sidesteps the defender. Good save by Wilmot. And I thought Junior Bent could have got a bit closer to it, Roger. Maybe get a shot on goal. Events it breaks down and Grimsby are on the attack. Yep. But at least encouraging for City there, making the better openings at the moment. They are most certainly. Good layoff there by Mendonca and Gilbert's broken well. Don't they break well from defence, this Grimsby side? Neat. Well rehearsed. Into Tony Reese. Mendonca made himself space and uh, that's a free kick in a very difficult situation. A trip by Scott. The referee's not going to book him because it was perhaps uh, more involuntary than intentional, but uh, there we are. His pencil's probably worn out already, Rog. Here we are, lovely, look at this. Great play, look, little hold up. On you go, my son. And Scott lucky to get, not get away with the booking, really. This lad Gilbert standing over the ball is the free kick expert, they say. He's got five goals, although there we are, he's laid it off for Childs, well blocked by the city wall. And Bryant uh, felt that in a painful part of his war. Penny Father in a bit of space. And Morgan. Chance here for Monroe to let rip. Good shot, but good in that he kept it down. Not so good in that it wasn't on target. Yeah, good build up, nice and patient. You know, if nothing's on, just keep the ball, slowly try and work Grimsby. Eventually does something does open up. Monroe hits his right foot, sadly for City, just wide of the far post. Good build-up, though, Roger. Morgan in a nice bit of space here. Rossini is far post, if he can reach him. He can, too! And what a good acrobatic piece of work by Leroy, but he couldn't quite keep it on target. Yeah, good play again by Morgan. Again gets his head up, sees Rossini. I think Rossini is helped by Croft, just slipping. But as you say, uh, you've got to hit the target there. Got to make the goalkeeper make a save. And then Donker to Ford, little dink back. 
to Mendonca, to Childs. And uh, Tinley in there trying to help out. Good cross by Mendonca. Chance here for Gilbert, blasts it, and straight at the keeper just as well. Well stood his ground well, and a good shot there from a difficult angle by Dave Gilbert. Yes, that was a key, Roger, the fact that Welsh did stand up. Here the cross comes in, I think it just gets a flick on. Um, there you go, just flick on, I think, Mangdonka there to the far stick. Gilbert does well, bounces almost as high as he is, and Welsh just stands his ground to make the save. We're into added time now, but there was quite a bit of that, so I would say a minute or so of play. Osman. Tinian. Little dink for Rosinha, it's perfect. So's the finish, and so was the save. I'm not sure if the keeper was required to touch that, but uh, Fritcher's tackle came in, hurt Rosinha. Great ball here, Roger. Lovely little dink, left foot. Rosinha's bounced up, hit it first time, just over the crossbar. So Tinian with the throw. Crofts clears it. Bryant, good first touch. Monroe, experienced player signed from Blackburn via Rangers. Monroe again. Oh, Shelton's in, but uh, so was that tackle by Roger. And City getting the back men forward a bit more now in this half. Maybe that's uh, one of the things Russell Osmond's wanted. Get the two fullbacks more involved, pressing forward. Here's another fullback. This is Scott. He's through. He's pulled down. But uh, Charles the bit. Oh, he's missed the target from the best chance of the game. Scott Hurt in making that chance for Julia Bent, who should have buried him up. Yes, I think actually it wasn't a foul, Roger. I think he got tackled by his own player, as you see here. He ran into Leroy, look. That's what happened. The ball broke for Bent, and he stuck it wide at the far post. The keeper had stopped, he'd given up. If he'd hit the target there, City would be 1 0 up. Here we've got it again, great run by Scott, burst past the Groves, inside, just runs into Rossini, doesn't he? But then he makes a pass unwittingly, straight into Junior Ben. Oh, he's got to hit the target there, City are 1-0 up if he hits the target. And certainly the head of steam building up here by City, it's a lot more promising. Tillian with the corner kick. Up goes Bryant, chance for Rossini, blocked! Rossini blocked! And once again, Grimsby survive. Here's a chance, Tinian's corner, and it comes. Good header by Brian into Leroy, and I think it hit Junior Bent, Roger. Again came off Leroy, again came off Bent, a bit like a pinball, eventually cleared by Grimsby. Another good chance for City, though. Tinian. Shelton. Chance for Morgan. Pressure told in the end. Crystal City won, Grimsby nil. Yeah, here we go. Great touch by Tinian. Lovely running by Shelton. Left footed cross, Roger, when it comes in. Loads of time for Morgan to pick his spot, which he does great. The keeper just unfortunately nearly got a hand to it. Here we go again. Lovely touch. Good running by Shelton. Here's Morgan, just pulls himself out of the way. In she goes. Only what City deserved, Roger. There he is, Nicky Morgan, an experienced goal scorer, and uh, City glad of that. So, Groves, Reese, Childs, the fullback overlapping, good organisation, good tackle by Shelton. What a good piece of work there by the City skipper. Up at one end, making a goal one moment, back there, stopping a goal happening at the other. Good football, big heart, Gary Shelton. So, Grimsby have got a corner kick, haven't had many of those from them. Gilbert is the man who takes them. They push the uh, big guys up, Roger particularly, the big number five's gone up there, and Groves, tall men who score goals from these pieces. Roger got his foot to it, and there's a shot there, and a shot there by the left fullback, Agnew, and finally City survived.
corner comes in from Grinsby's right. I think Roger gets up amongst a pile of bodies. And Agnew has a shot, Roger. And that's, it's a great block, this by Welsh. Very, very brave. Managed to get himself in front of it and hopefully Tinian cleared in the end for City. But still a dangerous position to concede this free kick now. Right. Ford over it. Gilbert will let fly with that left foot. Well blocked by Osman. He got made yard uh, by Monroe rather. Made yards to block that one. Bryant. Knocked in by Groves to Gilbert. This is where they're dangerous, laying it off and finding a spare man. And Ford with a good shot there. And Welsh again well down. What a splendid game the City goalkeeper's having. Hasn't had a lot to do, but uh, what he's had to do has been difficult and he's done it very well. Here he is. Good flick on by Gilbert. Well worked this as well. Good running off the ball by Grimsby. Just half a touch for Ford. He hits it very early, almost caught Wells by surprise, but he makes a good save. Mark Lawrenson and Roger Malone, your commentator at Ashton Gate, and disappointment for Grimsby, who must now, Billy Benner, I would think, regard their playoff chances as gone, just as Bradford said he must here. I think so, Billy. I mean, there's been a tidy little team. I mean, I've watched them a couple of times this year, you know, and they're very enjoyable to watch, you know, and, and Buckley's done a tremendous job there. He'll be quite pleased with the season they've had so far. I suppose the problem is, and we saw it again there, is they haven't scored goals. Yes, they've created chances as they always will do, and when you create chances, that's it's when you don't create chances, that's, that's a problem for you. Uh, Buck will be quite pleased with the way that this season they've had. Where's your money overall in Division 1 this season? I think it's going to be Newcastle. You know, I think you've got to be look at it and think, well, Newcastle, um, on and anybody, I mean, you've got Portsmouth, who's in a, on a tremendous run, and... West Grimsby's fans had almost forgotten how to celebrate a goal, and they were silent for a long time yesterday at Blundell Park. But then it happened, 86 minutes into the game.